Hey guys, all right, so today I have got a foundation for you. This has been out for a while, but I've been very interested in it for a while since it's been out. This is the Tarte High Performance Natural Shape Tape Cloud Coverage Foundation. Okay, I got the mini size because you know. <laughs> I'd be trying so much makeup, it's like, why get the full size? Because I'll never use it all. Even if I, it was my only foundation that I ever used, I would probably never use it all and it would probably expire before I had used it all. But this is it. I don't know anything about it. Um, now, because it's the Shape Tape brand or line, I assume it's going to have um, full coverage or fuller coverage or whatever, but uh, let's just see what some of the claims are. I've got it in the shade Fairlight Neutral. It just says, helps prevent sunburn. That's the active ingredients. Okay, that's all it says. It does, oh my goodness, it doesn't give me any claims. Reach for the clouds, it says, double duty beauty. Um, yeah, it doesn't give me any claims or anything. It just gives me all the information about ingredients and such. So let's just get it on and we'll see. Um, now I do have a video on the original, not the original, 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 but like the other shape tape, the more original version. This is the cloud coverage version. So let's just see. Um, uh, Tarte is, has sort of a difficult time with fair shades in my opinion, or from my experience, um, their fair shades are too dark. Like this is I don't know. Well, I can probably get away with it, but it's really on the orangey side, even though it says fair, light, neutral. So, all right. Um, now, I think, I believe the actual shape tape is more of a liquid slash cream. This is very creamy feeling. Not quite mousse. They do have a moussey texture. A little bit moussey, I guess. Yeah, a bit more moussey than even just cream. There are other um foundation that's very moussey textured I can't remember what it's called it's like right on the tip of my tongue but I just can't get it it's like I can't I'll try and put that in the description um right off the bat less coverage but it does feel very light and sort of like moussey textured. I'm going to put a little bit on there. I already got some up there actually. It is blending in with my skin well and like a lot of you are going to say oh that's the perfect shade it blends right in. Well no it's if it blends right in with the skin on my face it's not the right shade for me because um the skin on my face is darker than the skin on my neck and that's where we're trying to match so I'm just gonna put a little bit more on and I'm just gonna this is what we're gonna do just as I'm as you're seeing me that that's what we're doing. I don't know why, like when you're doing a video, you feel the need to explain every single thing that you're doing that people can clearly see you do. Like they don't really need an explanation, but you're all like, this is what I'm doing. If anybody knows why that is, I know the internet is full and YouTube is like full of psychology experts. So for the, if any of, the, of those of you are present today, if you could just put that in the uh, comments, like what is going on with why why people do that? I'd love to know. Okay, yeah, lo much less coverage, but I would say it's looking pretty natural. Let's get these eyes covered up, and then we'll just see like what kind of coverage we actually have. This brush is from the Amazon set that I had reviewed a while back. I don't know. It's less dense, so I feel like it's, I don't know, do you, do you guys think that that would sort of affect the coverage? I don't think so, but you know, what do I know? Now, ordinarily, I would say I don't like a less dense brush, but I'm kind of liking it today. All right, so let's see what we've got going on. All right, so, so far I'm seeing a lot more reflect from this foundation. It's looking really dewy. Um, my lips are so dry. Um, 
but the coverage is less like there's less coverage in this one now the other one that i have from tarte is the found sealer and multitasking foundation found sealer this one seems very similar to this like the coverage isn't as much even though it's called a found sealer it doesn't have that high of coverage the shape tape had much higher coverage so um but this one the cloud shape tape cloud coverage is much less um of coverage oh here we go here it is and i'll just give you a little bit of a and this is what's weird about um Tarte products is that this shade, which is 12N Fair Neutral, is like way fair. There we go. Yeah, this is much more liquidy, a little bit on the creamy side, but more of a gel, honestly. It feels, it feels a little gel like. Okay, so the top one is the one we're trying today, which is the uh, Shape Tape Cloud Coverage. So it's more moussey texture. The middle one is the the original face tape foundation. And this, that one, the cloud one, ah, I've been calling him, is the shade 16 and fair neutral, fair light neutral. So that's this one. The next one down is the shade 12 N fair neutral. And then the third one down is the found sealer. So much darker. And it is um, in the shade 13 N fair neutral. Okay, so like quite a difference, like this one's fair light, so I can understand that being a little bit darker because it's more on the fair slash light side of things, but these other two are both fair, 12N fair neutral, 13N fair neutral, so quite a difference between the shades, like quite a difference. So anyway, for this one today, um, I think it looks nice. It's looking much more natural. Let's get a little bit of a close-up look. But again, I think it's very similar to the found sealer one. Yeah, it's not gunking up in my pores at all. So if you're looking for like sort of a more natural coverage, um, it's not full coverage though at all. Like you can see what kind of coverage we're getting. It's very natural coverage, I would say. It looks nice. Like I don't think it looks terrible at all. This is sort of like what I would consider like an everyday kind of a foundation. Um, this for me is like Saturdays are days where I'm just out. I'm, I put on makeup, but I'm just out and about. It's very casual. So um, this for me would be a Saturday foundation. Um, now for Sundays is where I dress up for church and I want to look a little bit more have a little bit more coverage that's when I would use something like a um face tape but even then like the face tape oh oh my goodness is this supposed to be a concealer we'll have to look that up won't we I can't believe that's a concealer though no that's got to be a a foundation because this is the the small size Okay, so yeah, like the face tape okay so we're we're completely wrong like i'm I'm wrong from beginning to end in this video. The face tape has a ton of coverage, so that's what we're talking about today. Um, I'll have to look it up and see. Like, give me just one second and I'll look that up. Okay, well, good news. I wasn't that far off. This is like a CC cream, okay? So it's not meant to be have as full of coverage. But you guys still get the idea when compared to these other foundations. This one does have a more natural coverage, but I will say it's very similar to this one, which is the found sealer, okay? Um, now, the shade range is just weird because... We've got 12N and 13N, and then um, this one is 16N. And the 16 is lighter than the 13. Uh, it's just weird. Um, so yeah, I feel like, you know, really study the um, the shade so you can get the right one. You do not wanna have the wrong shade. Uh, nobody wants that, as far as I know. So, okay, um, I will wear this for the rest of the day. As far as, it feels really nice on my skin. It's got like SPF in it. So um, I do feel like this is marketed more towards like natural makeup and it is doing exactly that. So um, I don't love it or hate it at this point. I will say it's not catching too badly on my under eye eczema. It's not gunking up in my pores. It's giving me sort of a, um, a uh, very dewy, um, even coverage so it's nice if you're looking for that kind of coverage natural you might really like this um the problem is price like there's so many other products out there that i think are similar that i don't think it's a must-have to get this one at the price it depends on you know what your budget is and everything but again it's not wowing me overboard but because i have it and i probably won't be returning it I will use this product and it will be nice for summertime or like anytime when I'm looking for a lighter coverage, more natural coverage 
sort of thing, which I'm not always looking for, but it's nice to have if you're looking for that. All right, so um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, all the things, and I will see you in the next one.